What's going on, y'all? Logical Faith here. And I want to ask you a question. If you had a child who had various mental illnesses or learning disabilities, like, I don't know, Asperger's and OCD and selective mutism and depression, um, if they found something that triggered them, like, let's say abortion, let's say they, they learned about abortion and let's say the let's say the child's like let's say it's like a 16 year old teenager kid teenager whatever and let's say that they found out about abortion and it really really disturbed them and to the point where they would have panic attacks about it and they were traumatized and that person told you that person told people well the reason why I'm so triggered by this is because of my Asperger's. Um, it it kind of, it's something that upsets me and then my Asperger's makes me overly upset about abortion or, I don't know, climate change. And how would you, what would you do for that child? I would imagine that a loving parent, as much as they themselves are zealous about ab abortion or climate change that a loving parent would seek counseling and therapy for this child who's being triggered by climate change they would and they would try to get this child to um, ease off of it a little bit not saying that you know I wouldn't tell them not to care or not to be worried but you would get them to ease back a little bit because it, it's triggering your mental illness or weakness or however way you want to describe it but what do this woman's parents do what do liberals do not only do they not get her uh try to separate her from this trigger they put her on a stage and you and uses her as an advocate so you're literally thrusting her you're instead of pulling her away from a, a, tra a traumatic trigger um her perception of climate change Instead of pulling her away from it a little bit, trying to rein her in, you're you're literally like thrusting her out there into it. That's abuse. That's child abuse. Now, if conservatives had done this with like abortion, if there was, and I guarantee you, there are kids out there who are deeply upset about abortion. My kids are upset about abortion. And if I had put them out there in a political realm, to talk about abortion and how it triggers them, then I guarantee you liberals all over would say, oh, it's immoral for you to manipulate this child and to use this child for a political agenda and that sort of thing. But here we are, 2019, and that's exactly what liberals did with this uh, this teenager with, uh, this zealous teenager with all kind of m mental things going on who feels she's an activist i should say i should include that she's not just any old kid she is an activist um advocating for stopping climate change but she has some problems and she literally said out of her own mouth that climate change is actually a trigger for her and <laughs> whatever happened to people you would think that if something triggers her if 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 a transgender person is triggered by gendered language you'll tell me not to use that language even though the truth is that there is only a man and a woman, right? If people get triggered by all kinds of different things and the whole push down by, by liberals is safe spaces and, and not saying things that will trigger people, but she's triggered by climate change. How come no one said, hey, you shouldn't talk about that around her. You shouldn't involve her in these discussions because it triggers her. No, they don't do that. They do the opposite and they throw her right into the mix of it because they don't care about her. So much time and effort being spent into putting people in a different victim groups and talking about, you know, how to be sensitive and mindful of the different people's struggles and challenges and that sort of thing. And then you get someone who has all these different challenges that she's facing. <laughs> And you use her as your political spokesperson instead of being mindful and sensitive of what she she's experiencing. <laughs> That's just evil. That's just, it's literally pure evil. The crazy thing 
The last thing I want to point out is with this young lady having all of these different mental issues going on, um, had her parents known that she would have these things before she was born, there would have been people telling their parents, her parents to abort her. Because it's like, oh, you don't want your child to suffer. You don't want them to have less, live less than a full life. And and it, it's cruel to make them live through that. All the stuff that they tell people when their kid, when they believe that their um, unborn child is going to have certain birth defects or challenges or whatever. They'll tell people that. Abortion is an option. Abortion is humane in some aspects. Abortion is merciful in some aspect that's what they do and it's the whole irony of the left is using a, a this young lady to promote one of their policies but she's the type of person that their policies would have probably tried to abort in the first place so if anything the fact that this young woman, if she does have a powerful voice, if she does have something significant to say to the world with all of the challenges and weaknesses that she have, then logically the idea of ab aborting a baby because they're going to have Asperger's or Down syndrome or whatever else is a terrible idea. And this young lady proves it. So <laughs> either way you look at it, this young lady this proves or she goes against a lot of the stuff that they are that they advocate for even though they're trying to use her as an advocate i hope that makes sense to you so that's all i got for y'all this world is just so upside down um if you like this video please like share subscribe i will see you later